tracking devices. They are present in most of our gadgets. We track our calories, our steps, our heart rate, and even the number of hours we sleep. But what if one of these tracking devices put your safety in jeopardy? Now, last year, Apple launched a pocket gadget called AirTag. Apple says that this is an easy-to-use tracking device. It is a tool that is used to track misplaced possessions compatible with Apple. Now, this device does not need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Instead of being put to good use, it has been found that this particular Apple product is being misused in the United States. There have been uh, scattered incidents of stalking and even murder, which have been linked to Apple's tracking device. According to reports, a woman in Indiana tracked her boyfriend using an Apple AirTag and eventually killed him amid suspicion of cheating. In another incident, a woman was reportedly killed in her own driveway by her ex-boyfriend. In this case, too, an Apple AirTag was reportedly used to stalk the woman. Apple has uh, condemned these incidents of stalking and violence. In an official statement, Apple said that the device is not to be used to track people or another person's property. The company called the unwanted tracking a societal problem and said that they are working closely with safety groups and law enforcement agencies. Users argue that the company is only offering half-baked solutions. For starters, around half of the people in the U.S. use Android devices on which these updates are not available. Secondly, the warning system promised by Apple is slow. It takes up to three days to alert users. And what does the law say? Using an air tag to track somebody is not illegal in any of the 50 states in the U.S. 23 states in the U.S. and Washington, D.C. have electronic tracking laws. Now, more bipartisan bills are in the works to tighten tracking laws.